<laughs> yeah. It's, I always think if aliens came it came down to Earth and they flicked on RuPaul, uh, that bit where they're all doing themselves up, yeah. they would go, we need to leave. <laughs> or oh, they'd be like, we've already been here. We're already here. <laughs> yeah, what, We're safe. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, How was... Um, the aftercare from RuPaul, we were just interested when we were chatting, we were like, oh, I wonder what, because you know how Love Island has had loads of yeah. uh, sort of campaigning of like, mm. you need to look after your contestants afterwards. Same with Big Brother and stuff. Yeah. Like I mean, for me, it was fine. I didn't have mm. really any any issues or need for aftercare. So okay. for me, it was fine. Yeah. Like that you do have like a psych test before you go in. And, and people pass that. Yeah. Well, must, the bar must be very low. <laughs> I think it's a very low bar. <laughs> I think they just need to get you through. Although, listen, when I was doing the psych test, I felt like he spoke more than I did. So right. I don't even know okay. if, <laughs> if it's worth it. But um, yeah, I, I think it depends who you ask, you know. Yeah. I think people have a tough time on the show. I personally didn't. Mm. There was a week where I almost quit, but I got over that very quick. Uh, whereas some people need more aftercare i would yeah, say yeah, because yeah. of all the trolling and i think yeah i think you can't you you can never know how to deal with that i don't how, know how, how have you yeah let's talk about that because mm. it's do you, do you get a lot of grief because i imagine Not, i can see like you know for instance like a, a horror who's if someone's cast as a villain, a villain. kind of thing it, it's going to be a bit more difficult and people are going to just jump <laughs> on that yeah whereas you, know, you were like really likable and as a, that, that's not just the edit. I'm just saying you are really <laughs> like, but, uh, but so, but I'm sure you still got grief. Like oh we yeah, still get grief, don't we? And we're very yeah. likable. <laughs> it's yeah. it's a weird thing because you know I I didn't expect to get to 32, 33 years of age and then be judged by the whole world. Yeah, that's kind of weird. And then not only judged by the world, but a million twelve year olds who think they know everything yeah, about life yeah. and a drag and you know, whether someone's got any personality or any good at things. So I have had my fair share of of hate and trollism, but overall it's been positive. I have to really hold my tongue and try not to type a sassy reply because mm. that's my favourite thing to do. Yeah. But sometimes it just ends up going on and on and on. Yeah. Well, and you end up blocking them anyway. So Yeah, is it George, I think, it, who is it who said it? George Bernard Shaw, don't wrestle with pigs because... Yeah. You get dirty and the pig likes it. That's true. Um, That's very true. I like so, that. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, sometimes I can't help myself. Mm. Like, <laughs> I know this is it. You know, I'm just like, oh. Well, there's some days in you where if you're in a good headspace and things are going well, you go, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And then some days you can see something and go, but I'm a nice person <laughs> trying to do nice things. Yeah, it's it's tough because you you obviously get stuck with whatever edit you get on Drag Race, and I unfortunately got um, dumped with this like Ella has no personality edit which yeah. went on for weeks and I watching it back I was like that's really horrible yeah. uh, because I'm not the loudest person in a big group of people never have been never yeah. will be I'm not good at pretending to be someone I am or showing off so I don't feel like I need to so I get that they did that but then once you get loads of trolls keep saying like you're so boring or like <laughs> You're so basic. And yet you still watch me every week. Yeah. <laughs> but here I am two years later, still working yeah. consistently. Yeah. St still done a multitude of different jobs. And actually, interestingly, when I started doing the interviews with the season five girls, it brought back all that like drag race sort of... I, I entered the ring of drag race again. So yeah, I opened myself it. up to, come on, hate yeah, me yeah, again. Yeah. Tell oh, me oh, I'm oh. boring. Because that's all done through, <laughs> through attitude, right? Yeah. Through, through the magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't actually know about that. Can you explain? It's, it's basically uh, a YouTube series where I just talk to whoever's been eliminated every week. Okay. And it's really oh, interesting. It's nice. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sad? <laughs> it, it's really nice. It's nice because I've been through the process mm -hmm. and it's two years ago. You know, I'm way on the other side. But as I said, it just, it just encourages people to comment okay. on me. So I feel a certain pressure yeah. Yeah. to look perfect every week. Yeah, because you're like the expert in this. Yeah, in this and also field. to protect yeah. myself. Yeah, at least they can't say I look rubbish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they can cool. say everything else. So <laughs> logistics wise, then on that, again, I'm obsessed with logistics. This is, this <laughs> I is noticed. This is my life. I'm, pl I'm planning. I'm, I'm planning. <laughs> planning at Planison. Yeah. Um, how long does it take to get into drag, out of drag, 
Are the boobs heavy? Like oh, I don't wear boobs anymore. Okay. I just uh, stuff a bra with okay. my socks. So it's very is that to protect it, your back? It's because the yeah, boobs were it. heavy. <laughs> no, the, the, it was like that silicon breastplate, which is just so uncomfortable and sweaty oh. and mm, sticky yeah. and gross. Stinky drag queen. <laughs> yeah, like they used to get <laughs> quite stinky as well. Um, getting into drag probably takes me about an hour and a half. Getting out of it takes five minutes. Okay. Like, Wet wipe. Yeah, literally like cream it in and get it off. That's the best bit, take okay. it all off. Because and how many times do you have to do that in a week? It depends. Depends what I'm doing. Okay. At the minute it's less, but it has been where I've had to do like seven days on the trot. Oh my god. By the end of the week, you know, face is raw. What's yeah, yeah. I want to say what's the impact on your skin? Uh you just have to be much more careful. Like moisturize a lot. Make sure you're taking it off carefully. Cause I, I I'm allergic to a certain substance, which I didn't realize for a long time. So the thing that I was sticking my eyebrows down, I was actually allergic to. Right, wow. And I used it for like two and a half years. And my eyes used to blow up in my face and I used to get eczema all down my neck. Wow. And I had to do patch testing. It was very dramatic. God. But now I've sorted it. Like Will Smith on Switch when he's shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally that was me every time I did drag. So really? I was like, this is great. 